What up design champions, welcome to episode seven. First off, I have some cool news. If you wanna do this project yourself and get a random medium and a random project, you can go to my website at zimrymayfield.com. I know my name is very long and it's kind of hard to figure out how to spell, but I have the description in the link below and you can click there. And then once you're at the website on the left, you'll see a link that says design challenge. Just click that and then the whole setup is very simple. On the left, you'll have a red button that says medium. And then on the right, you'll have a blue button that says project. Just click those and it'll give you a random thing. Super simple and shout out to my brother for whipping that random word selector up real quick. I am the one, the one, the fire son. Okay homies, let's get started. The medium for today will be an animated video. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> I, I like it. It's just that they take so long and I'm not too good in after. Well, well, okay, we'll see. Oh, that's a good combination. We'll have, we'll make an animated video for cars fueled by coffee. Well, let's get started. So the name of our replacement for gasoline will be called Cafuel. Get it? Because cafe is kind of associated with coffee and fuel, we put them together, Cafuel. Chafiel, <laughs> perfect name, Zim. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Man, I feel like we all need a large injection of cash. Werner Herzog says storyboards are the tools of cowards. Well, I'm a coward. I'm planning out the video and how it will go. Not very in depth, just kind of a general overview. Here I am making all of the cars that I needed for the animation project. What I did was I went to Google and just Google searched 90s car, 60s car, and then I just chose the most uh, common or the most iconic for that decade. So the 60s and 70s are very iconic, and I think the rest of the decades are just kind of common what I think of when I think of that decade. One thing I noticed was that every car made in the 90s is extremely ugly. Um, I can't think of a single car that I liked that was made in the 90s. Anyways, this was the final version, flatized. Let's go. Okay, Han Solo. I've just finished creating six different vehicles from 1960 to 2010. That took quite a while, but now we're getting into the real thick of it. We're gonna put all the cars into After Effects and see what kind of an animation we can come up with. At first, I was thinking that all the parts of each car individually would morph into the next car, which, you know, maybe I'd do if I had a month to work on it, but uh, I kind of have to do it all tonight. Uh, so, maybe there'd be a swoon or a whoop when it changes to the next car. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. Here's a look into my process in After Effects. Most of the cars, I animated three things. Uh, the car body, the tires, and the shadow beneath it. So the car body would go up and down and the wheels would spin and the shadow beneath it would come up and down depending where the car body was. Here's a look at it with some audio. I decided to get rid of the shadow beneath the car. Okay, selector, play the thing. That does nothing. Play! video animation for Cafuel, the company that is creating a new fuel source using ground coffee. I worked on it for, um, I think it took about 14 hours yesterday. Blah. Something like this, if you watch it, it's like, why did that take 14 hours? I don't know, man, it just does. Because I, I was pretty focused the whole time. It just took a while. So I made two conscious decisions. Number one, to shorten the length of the video by only giving kind of the lead up to it. And then at the end, kind of giving a lead into, hey, 113 miles per gallon, that's incredible. It leaves a little bit of a drop off and mystery. So hopefully it will help viewers or whoever sees the video to be like, wow, okay, I wanna learn more about this. 
Don't fuss over stuff. I do it and I go with it. Don't fuss over stuff. Okay, let's talk about some improvements and reviews we could make to it. And these maybe I'll probably take a little bit of time and actually do it because I like the animation. I like the idea of the cars flowing to the next decade, next decade. Um, that's kind of cool and I like the animation. I just think if I put a little bit more effort into it, it could really make it good. Some of the things I would improve would be um, for the year 2000 and 2010, there's nothing in the background that flies by the car. All the other decades there are. Um, another thing is the sound effects for the last three decades, 90s, 2000, and 2010s. I couldn't find uh, very good engine noises for those. That, that actually took quite a while to find good um, engine noises. Very difficult. And then just some things with the animation, some parts it, it delays, especially during the 90s, some of the information goes off the screen and the car is there for you know a half a second too long. Uh, also, I don't like the look of the 1990s car. I think I just need to add very dark color to the uh, wheel wells so that it doesn't look so silly. But overall, I really like this project. I think it was cool. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, uh, be sure to hit the hit the thumbs like that. Pow, hit it with the mouse. Give it a like. <laughs> and of course, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And if you are, then stay awesome, possum. And I'll see you later, alligator, on Tuesday. Blues day. Blah, 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 blah. Our medium for today will be a brochure. Oh, nice. And we will be making a brochure for a company.